Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing an older pen from a brand we really appreciate, Caveco. This pen is a Caveco Sport V16 fountain pen from our collection. It came, it came inside this uh, leather case with some company logo engraved. Here is the pen. Uh, although it um, it resembles uh, a, in shape a modern Caveco Sport, it has some differences. Here is, for comparison purposes, um, an, a new one, a, Cave a classic, uh, classic Sport black chess. Um, as you can see, um, the size is smaller, even in diameter as in in length, in total length. It's not much, but there is some. Also, the medallion on the top of the cap is different, although there is, in, uh, there, is there in the place. Uh, other differences. Um, this one has 12 facets in the cap. This one has only 8. Um, this is more streamlined, as you can see. And this one has more straight lines, and then it goes streamlined on the on the on the ends. This one is more all over its shape. Um, more more differences. Um, this one has one ring on the top of the cap, and another one at the top of the at the end of the the barrel. This one has no rings in it. Uh, but the biggest differences are under the cap. This one is well known to you all, I think. And uh, this one is like this. What have we got here? A longer section. And in the end there is a semi-hooded uh, nib. Um, and uh, unlike the traditional traditional shaped nib uh, on the modern ones, um, as you can see, also the section from the threads on is much bigger in this one uh, because it partially covers that uh, the the nib, um, and uh, maybe the biggest difference of all. This one is a cartridge converter filler, and this one is a piston filler. You can see the link inside. Um, this has this is has this ink window here, blue colored ink window, just above the the section threads. This way you can see it best. Okay. Um, what more? The, this piston works by turning this knob at the end of the barrel. I won't do it now because it has ink in it. Um, and um, the material is similar. I don't know exactly what this is, but this is also um, some plastic, uh, some plastic, some black plastic material maybe much like this one i don't know if this is acrylic or not but it is the same overall the same kind of uh, of material um and uh, it has also the the medallion we already saw in the top of the cap with the caveco logo and it has the caveco sport engraving in gold here at the cap much as this one, although the difference is even the, the kind of the font is almost the same. Uh, the big difference is this one has the this underline here, and that one doesn't. So let me put this aside. What more do we do we have to say? Um, at at the end of the barrel, let's cap it. At the end of the barrel, there is another engraving 
let's try to see it that tells us oh, it's hard to focus let's try again okay at the end of the barrel there is this engraving that says this angle is better it says v16 which is a Caveco Sport V16 model and M, which means it is uh, it has uh, an M nib, and that's it about engravings. Now let's see how it uh, it writes. What we have here is our. Rodia dot pad and um, this ink is the Matignon turquoise, which is uh, an interesting uh, turquoise ink. We have a review on our blog. And the pen is the Caveco Sport V16 fountain pen. Um, and it has a 14 carat gold nib. Uh, what can we say about the, the, the nib performance? It has almost no line variation it has a good flow um, it's a smooth nib but you can hear what we find as a very pleasant feedback when it's on paper um, this is a pen that is comfortable to hold and although it is shorter than the, the traditional than the, the the modern Caveco Sport in length it is almost the same even though maybe even a little bit longer although it's shorter in uh, although it's it has a smaller diameter um, this pen can be found uh, on eBay. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to find. Um, there's not one posted uh, each day even, so it's a little hard to find. And uh, um, sometimes they go up for um, around 80 euros, uh, usually in a set which includes the, the fountain pen, a case and a mechanical pencil or a ballpoint. This one came with nothing but but the pen and the the, um, the pouch. It is um, we believe this pen, uh, although it's a great choice as a pocket pen. I I'm using it to 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 use on to to work. But I wouldn't use uh, maybe because I'm too I'm too scared of any leaking problems. I I don't think I would use um, a piston filler as a pocket pen or even an eyedropper. I prefer to have a cartridge converter pen because it has a, a smaller amount of ink that can uh, by accident be spilled uh, on our clothes so uh, maybe this isn't this wouldn't be my first choice as choice as a pocket pen but i really like uh, caveco and uh, i use it at work with no problem um this uh, this can be also a very nice choice for those users who have started recently uh, on this fountain pen world and 
they seem to they, they have the, the curiosity to to advance to a, to a gold nipped pen for a, a low price this is a good option it has a good nib uh, and we can say this is a modern nib so there's no no big problems uh, around it um, they have uh, they may want to try a, a gold nib and with it there comes the possibility of having a gold nib with a piston filler pen for around 80 euros with its pouch and even a, a, a mechanical pencil or a ballpoint to add to the set i think it's a great price to to, to try it um, so i hope you like this i hope more people will look into uh, caveco fountain pens and uh, even in these more it is older pens because they are <laughs> almost as nice as the new ones and please if you found this in interesting please follow us uh, on our blog and if you if you want um, also follow our youtube subscribe our youtube channel so see you next uh, see you in the next review goodbye